guess when you can't camp, it's too cold to camp, you go look at campers. Hey everybody, we are interrupting uh, the normal flow of the video. We got a factory tour in the midst of videoing the other, uh, the Tandera. And what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and take a factory tour. We can't film, we can't uh, take pictures. But what we're going to do is we're going to insert this part. And then at the very end of the video, we're going to like recap. Enjoy the Tandera tour. Hey glampers, Mike and Joni with those who glamp together. You know, it's winter. We don't really have a rig to go out all the time in the winter. This is a 2021 East to West Tandera. So we have been um, in contact with the company. We've been offered to do a tour of the factory. We're not allowed to film, so we figured let's at least come look at one before we go out and do that. And um, we'll kind of show you the rig. So come on in and let's check it out. Um, sorry, it's cold, so I might shiver here and there. It's very cold. I'm going to say that this rig here has something to do with, like, not your entry level, but not your high end. So we're going to, we're going to see some differences in things. we got the uh, freestanding table, four chairs, storage in the four chairs. These four, two of them do not, they all four are stationary. It's not like you can put the two away. Okay. No folding uh, ones. No folding ones. It does have the two uh, recliners. They're not powered, so they're the manual. I do kind of like the color of the furniture, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, again, has the no carpet, but it is woven. It's got it's some... A marine, it's a marine material. They use on yeah. boats a lot more, so it's easier to clean than carpet. But yet, mm -hmm. you have something there. So, they do have the blackout shades. We like that. We love all these windows, which it's so cold. It's like, it kind of needs help going up. This is a pretty chilly day. I'm going to say it's like... It's like 18 degrees. Yeah. It's pretty cold. And we're expecting so. like six inches of snow tonight. So. Yeah. Pull out couch. Really nice big three yeah. three person couch. Good time, man. I'm yeah, we got here a little early. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Okay, so that is a little different. Hi, I'm Joni. Joni? Yep. Damien, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so we do have the couch down. It's it's a decent size. This could this would easily hold two adults. Easily. Three easily. three yeah. kids. Yeah. It almost looks like a king size. It's weird because I mean, when I yeah, I'm watching. I'm like, it's very lightweight and like kind of oh. does its own. <laughs> Sorry. You saw it here first on those who glance together. You break you buy you... it. Oh, this stays up. Then these go back. Then those go back on. So that's your right side. I actually like that as a bed better than any other trifold I've seen. Not that I'm a big fan of trifolds. Yeah. I do like that. And guys, this is the first time we're actually seeing this yeah. camper. So we're yeah, seeing it for the first be... time with you. Got some storage up here, nice big windows. If we kind of turn this way, we do have a one hole. Dampers, huge storage, but you got both hands yeah. to access. access. This it's, looks like it pulls out. It definitely pulls out, sl swings out. I will say just from the initial look of this, I am very impressed. I like the, the how bright and light it is in here. The light yeah. woods, yeah. I don't know what color this is, but it's more of a gray tone to me. Yeah. Kind of gray and i too. like the floors yeah so let's keep moving on so we got it's 
empty, so I'm sure you can put your own stuff in it. It's about quartz. Furion. Obviously your fireplace. Then we're going to the kitchen, I think. Yes. We always like the island, but one thing I do have to say about the island, never center the sink because I'd rather have double counter space on one side, but not a little on both sides. I, I do like the single sink. So that's got a single. Single bowl. Single bowl. It's got a nice sized, um, I don't know if you want to come around here. It's got a really nice sized uh, cabinet here. It's got a shelf in here, so you can't put a trash can. They're not slow closed. Oh, here's your trash can. And well, it might be that it's 17 degrees. No, <laughs> it, you can see it rubbing. Yeah. This would probably too big of a can. This would be. Uh, no, they didn't put it in right. The the hinges are in the way. Yeah. Good idea. Didn't execute it all the way. Um, storage, 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 storage. Unlike the uh, one we saw earlier. Okay, I like that they did the damper on that. I do yeah. like, one thing I see since what Joni mentioned about the island, you do get extra space on both sides of the stove. Yeah. Which a lot of places, they'll bring this entertainment wall right up to about an inch or so be to the uh, stove there. So you get a lot of extra space on both sides of the stove. So. Yeah. This is big enough for coffee maker, for sure, toaster, whatever you need. The storage is not lacking in this unit at, at all. all. So, we do have this. We've mentioned this before. This would not be the kind of refrigerator we do, but... Okay, so here is the... It's kind of... Well, we have some storage above. Oh, that's really hard to get to. But it's massive. Yeah. They don't twist. They just pull. Looks like they're on mat. Oh no, they got yeah. the slam. Now the, no, they're not slam. So one side you could use as a closet. Yeah, adjustable. You could remove those shelves or lower yeah. them. It's kind of cool that they put an outlet in the in the pantry. So if you really wanted to put a coffee put maker in there, I coffee guess? maker could sit in there. Like, one thing I want to show is the ducts are not coming out of the floor. They're coming out of the uh, island here. And you can see another duct over there on the stairs. So they do not route their ducts up through the floor. Right. Are there lips on those yes. shelves? Okay, yes. so you do have lips on those shelves, so nothing's going to yeah. slide. This is just around 33, 34 foot. It's not a big... There's a light switch here, which something with lights here. I bet Breaker box. Electrical. Okay, we ready to go upstairs? Let's go check out the bathroom. I have not seen this bathroom, so... So right off the bat, pocket doors. I love it. Love the pocket doors. Not a big bathroom, guys, as far as space. But pull that and you can get in there. Alright, the mic approved shower <laughs> test. Gotta really back this up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's plenty of room. Plenty of room for me. I like the stool. You can sit. One piece shower, so I like that. As far as the bowl, the, the sink, so I got my big gloved hand on there. I can get both hands in. This could be a little taller. I don't know why they put these small to get your hand under it. It would be nicer to have it looped up, but those are easy to change. It's a good storage here for a medicine cabinet and then others. And you do have plenty of countertop here for that. So you have a pretty decent storage underneath as well. And a good, just an open cubby here for whatever you would want to put there. But it's porcelain, you still have room. I mean, I can reach all the way around me. No, it could have been bigger, but once again, we are talking about a 33 foot camper. Uh, the, when you compress everything in a camper, 
everything gets a little tighter. So this is one of the things that you'd have to compromise on is the bathroom area being a little bit tighter. Now I don't know how tight it is when you start closing sliding doors, how it feels tight wise. So let's see what we got here. So with the doors closed, for one person it's plenty big. Um, you do have a fan here. My phone's going off. Hey, what's up, brother? Did I mention it's cold today? I think we did a couple times. <laughs> Even it's my gloves very, are cold. It's so cold. This is the master bedroom, of course. Um, it has a king bed. There are no side tables to this. Uh, they did do the damper system Good in the bed. Storage. Yeah, that's very deep. Yeah. Pretty deep, more than normal. Um, oh, sorry about that. Mm. It does have a washer dryer hookup. And the nice thing is, is like you could do one unit, a single unit, and do the washer dryer right over here. It has a spot for the dryer vent to go out. But if you decide you want two units, you could do a washer over here, and it has another a uh, spot for a dryer on this side but this is a good size closet this one is uh equipped with the second air conditioner mm -hmm. i don't know if it comes that way from the manufacturer i have no idea we go do that tour i will uh, check it out Wars. not super deep but they're deep this way they're not um long framed out the doors which makes it nice and solid as you walk in here are all your controls so you got an inverter on here and which will probably run the, the fridge and maybe another outlet I'm sure it is ready for solar so you, you could put solar panels on top run your uh, your wirings already there you have your controls here max air fan which is above the stove all right guys we're outside we're going to give you a trip around the outside and see what all kind of storage it has and what all features it has outside so so right away you've got this nice big storage right here you got your your inverter right there your battery box um and uh here's like an electric motor for your uh your auto leveling One thing I do like, I got these steel uh, slam latch plates that makes it really good solid uh, for the slam latch. Propane tank, 30, 30 pound propane tank. Two. You, one on the one. other side. Now because this, because this is on the uh, side with slide they put these plastic I'm not a big fan of that being plastic but here's your water bay nice big storage but yeah we like the water bay inside battery cut off here is your water tank down here's your sewer connection I like the fact they put a light here for your sewer if you have to dump at night or do anything with this at night you have a light here your 50 amp service you do have, on this slide, you have the cable slide system. This slide's a rack and pinion slide. So it's a much bigger slide, so good for that. So around the back, you do have a hitch. I'm not sure if it's a tow hitch. There are some wires there, so I, I would say it's probably a, an accessory hitch, though. It's a bigger hitch, though. But there's no plug. Uh, one thing they do that a lot of people don't do is reverse lights. That's nice to have. Yeah, it's prepped for a rever uh, rear camera. I like this that they put on there, a ladder to get on top. You do have your LP quick connect right below here. So if you bring your own uh, gas grill. Second slide here, posing slide, is on a rack and pinion. Got the awnings 
on the slide out, which I like, so you can use the whole side to be covered with an awning. Then you're on here, so it's a 10 foot awning and a 14 foot awning. I think we cover that as well. And this is the other side, and it's a magnet latch. Nice and big. There are TV hookups right here with the plugs. So I imagine you can set your TV right in here and, and watch from outside. You're covered up by the awning. It's another propane behind it. So, once again, slam latches, which I like. Speakers. And that's pretty much it. It does have auto leveling. That's your auto leveling. It's, uh, it's locked, so I can't get into it. We decided to get in the car to warm up before we could give a final review on mm -hmm. this camper. Um, I wanted to go over the numbers with you for uh, this rig since I didn't have them handy. So it's a 2100 pound uh, hitch weight. Uh, UVW dry weight's 10.8 or 10.584, sorry. Uh, the cargo carrying capacity is 3,500, so that puts you to about 14,000 pounds if you was to go to full load. So when we talked about the 6,000 pound axles, that's plenty for this. Um, you're going to put 12,000 pounds on them axles and obviously 2,000 pounds onto your truck. So that puts you right at the 14,000. So those numbers work out well. Uh, like I said, it's 35 foot long. I thought it was 33, but it's actually 35 this is right off of the uh, Tandera website for uh, east to west. Uh, it's 13 feet, two inches tall, 96 inches wide. Uh, fresh tank is 63 gallons, which is good. Uh, gray water, 90 gallon. Black water, 45 gallon. And then the two awnings, 10 foot, 14 foot. First of all, we'd like to thank Mark Kroll from east to west for just being so personable with us, being so hospitable with us, and just taking us through and just explaining everything. And mm -hmm. All right, after the factory tour, uh, we did not jump back in the car to talk about everything because our minds were like, you know. Yeah, blown. It's so been a couple it, days. Yeah, we kind of needed to let all that information soak in. Some of the information we got was basically what's coming up in the industry. Um, for instance, currently, your new models come out in like December, January, February is time-ish. Um, they're going to kind of do like the automotive industry now and they're going to wait until August. So August, say August of 2021, that's when your 2022s will be coming out. So something else that we learned was uh, that the industry is changing to is right now, as far as fifth wheels are concerned. Uh, the measurement, the length of the fifth wheel is measured from the very end of the fifth wheel to the center of the kingpin. Um, what's going to happen and the industry has agreed on is now that measurement in the front will be the front leading edge of the cap. Uh, something that shocked me about this was he even asked our input about something on the rig saying, hey, what do you think of this? Mm -hmm. It was, a, it was the size of their uh, sink in the bathroom. And in the video, I went over that. The sink's fine to me. It's really the, the uh, faucet that creates the issue, in my opinion. The Tandera and the way that they decided to build the frame of the, the units are, they're dipped and not sprayed. Yeah, the, so The company that does their frame, the frame is a one piece that comes in sections, and each section gets completely dipped. Mm -hmm. And then it gets bolted together, not welded. So as far as Tandera goes, they had a lot of uh, things that were, you would expect in high-end fifth wheels that they're doing in their mid-profile mid fifth wheel. Um, like their flooring, they do totally different than they 100% tongue and groove plywood. One of the biggest takeaways that I took from this tour was there's a lot of... Uh, things that companies will do and and they they have knowledge of all the manufacturers they have knowledge of what goes on i mean that they're in that business so they they kind of have taken what really works in the industry and applied it to their product and then they've taken things that a lot of the industry does and says, no, nah, I don't want to waste my time with that. Let's keep the price point down. One thing. Okay. Hey, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe yeah. learned something along the way as well. Comment below of a rig that we were not aware of that we might be interested in that you might have or you're looking at as well. And maybe we'll try to go find those. Okay. But until next time. Happy glamping.